and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the market once again. Yesterday was the market crash part one. Today's the market crash part two. Now, the reason I split these up or going over it again is for two simple reasons. First off, the special stream is tonight. I don't know what time exactly, but they're going to be revealing the Christmas promo more than likely tonight, which does mean a lot of changes in the market will probably happen after tonight's video and especially tomorrow when things start coming out, if everything stays on track. So also, I can tell you guys yesterday, the market wasn't fully affected just yet because a lot of people couldn't get on the servers, Madden was still broken, people hadn't really gotten back yet, people still haven't gotten all their power pass stuff. I did tell you once everyone got back on and the Christmas stream starts, things will change a lot. So these are kind of like the last minute market tips before we get into that stream. I will have a few videos about coins today. I'm going to keep it more coin centric on a Sunday. Not by choice, but because it just feels about right to fit in right before the Christmas promo starts and then get right into it. Go full head steam, you know, full steam ahead right after that. But guys, before we get into the video, as you guys know, it's the 25 days of Poodmas. All you got to do to enter this giveaway as per usual is like the video, comment down below the secret word you'll hear throughout the video and your console and subscribe to the channel once you do those things you're entered to win now let's head into it guys now the prices right now are slightly weird and that's only because of the lack of cards i wouldn't say it's because the actual prices of cards so actually i'll start a little bit lower i'll start over here first before i get all the way up i was about to go full head right into the 94s but that's that's too quick we gotta we, we gotta we gotta let the market marinate start from the beginning because i don't i feel you know i sometimes feel bad starting higher because i know there's a lot of people who can't always afford those cards so i'm kind of leaving them out so that's why i always start in like the 88 range now the 88s as per usual they haven't really moved too much they're still sitting at their normal range 40k 35k depending like i said the best day for 88s are heavyweight flashback and veteran days but more than likely flashbacks and heavyweights veterans aren't pulled as much because people don't care for them as much i think veteran uh, flashbacks and heavyweights are the best 88s if you're gonna buy them when when they drop which is mondays and i believe wednesdays now Nothing really else to go over when it comes to the 88s and 89s. I mean, there's some decent legends. Now, because of the level of packs, a lot of 89s have come down in price. So you get a decent amount of base legend 89s, such as like Marcus Allen, Houston, Marvin Harrison. They are decent values just off of the fantasy pack. But the better option in those fantasy packs were the platinum coin quick sells. So I'd imagine that... Not many people probably took the 89s, although if they did, it was probably, probably dumb. I did just take my Le'Veon Bell or whatever quick sell I had in there, because that was the smarter opinion. That wasn't the smarter idea, in my opinion, because he did go for 110, 110k. But like I said, 89s, decently cheap. If you're looking to build a legend squad or try to build a high overall squad, you can probably do so pretty cheaply at this point, man. Now let's head over to the 1991s. Let's see what we're rocking with. All right, so the 90s, they're gotten, they've gotten pretty cheap too. They're still staying in a similar range that we could expect them in. Now, guys, quick little advice. If you're on a, if you're on a budget, and you're trying to build a budget squad i'm telling you steve young probably the best budget qb at 80k he gets escape artist he gets i believe he gets escape artist i don't know what other abilities he gets but he has powered up and chemed up he will have almost all above 90 throwing stats with go deep and everything he'll have above 90 throw mid above 90 throw short above 90 throw deep above 90 throw power above 90 throw under pressure above 90 throw on the run and 82 speed with escape artist guys for a budget team steve young is probably the best quarterback that you could probably get right now and he's really really cheap now never really liked him before because of his price but now that he's that cheap you cannot really argue with that you could really build a pretty cheap team and you can even build a budget team with all 40k players but just make sure the quarterback steve young a escape artist quarterback and a budget team will be huge definitely be a huge addition to the team just getting that's my little little advice right there let's go over to flashbacks again like i said these cards are only going to be really really cheap on the days when they're released so don't expect them to be super cheap on days like this. They're going to be cheap on days like Monday and Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday, but more so Monday. So they might look cheap now, but trust me, if you wait till Monday, they'll be even cheaper every time they, and especially because they keep increasing overalls at points. If they do, if the next flashback drop isn't increased overall, it should drop these down even more. Now let's head over to the 92 to 93s. That's kind of where the fun starts to happen. Let's see what we're working with there. And like I said from yesterday, the market was weird only because not a lot of people were on it. It's going to definitely get worse. Guys right here, I'm telling you, this is going to come down even more. Right now, it's early in the morning, so price is a little bit higher. There's not a lot of cars on the block as much as you'd think either. I'm telling you, what you got to do, once the special stream comes out, guys, the way Madden is, right, cars are like toys. You get the brand new Transformer toy, you're super hyped, you're ready to go play with it. Then they drop the new Megatron, the new Transformer toy, and you're like, okay, this one's old. Back in the toy trunk, 
I want the new one. But you just bought the old one. I don't care. I don't care if I lose money. I just want the new one. And that's literally Madden. So Madden's like this. Oh, wow. NFL 100, Bruce Matthews, all these guys. NFL 100 guys are going to be slightly protected, though, because they are the highest overall cards in the game. So they're not going to be that easy to replace. I think these cards are here, the ones that are going to be thrown out like old toys. Think, like, okay, I got John Henderson. I picked up Clinton Portis, Ty Law. Okay, so I have, I have some pretty solid legend, Gene Upshaw. And then the NFL 100 players dropped. Gene Upshaw went down in price. Ty Law went down in price. All these guys went down in price because the NFL 100. Now, even worse, like the Blitz cards. You might have picked up Dalvin and all these guys. Maybe you picked up Lamar. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my Lamar, but I already know. Zero Show's going to drop. They're going to announce an ultimate freeze. Pat Mahomes, everyone's going to be like. That's the secret word for today's video is Elf. All you got to do is comment down below the word Elf. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below your content. Once you do those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. Oh my god. Heaven. And that's it. That's, that's literally it right there. That's that's actually it. Everyone's going to start. Lamar's going to probably go down in price a little bit. Oh, and if they announce that Mahomes can get a skate artist, the whole quarterback market's going to die. Or going to drop, at least. Then if they announce, like, a zero chill, like, crazy running back. I don't I can't even think right now. Like, a McCaffrey zero chill running back. The running back market's going to come down. If the stats are up to the, the stats have to match too but you guys get the point the christmas promo is literally the definition of throw away your old toys we're into the new buy my presents buy my zero chill cards buy everything and then i'm telling you zero chill has always been infamous for making every other card in the game obsolete and just killing their price so i'm telling you right now market seems to be still crashed but slightly a tick up from yesterday i'd recommend you sell a few things Unless they completely botch the zero chip promo, like botch it, make it the worst promo in history, it should kill the market quite a bit. It was already coming down just in preparation for it. I'm telling you, if they drop Pat Mahomes, if they drop some banger cards, it's going to kill a lot of the market. Now, guys, the only cards that I would say are kind of safe would probably be the NFL 100 cards from going to right now. Those cards might be decently safe because at the end of the day, they still are going to be the best players in the position. Like Anthony Mundo's 94 left tackle is not going to be overshadowed in zero chill. Tony Gonzalez tight end. I wouldn't say he's gonna be. I wouldn't say he wouldn't be overshadowed. He might be met with like another tight end, but like maybe a Kellen Winslow or something. But it's not gonna be that. It's gonna be similar. NFL 100 reeks. It's like a mutt 10. Even with new things coming out, they will rank up to the new promo. That's always the thing. You just can't be overshadowed. Bruce Matthews won't be overshadowed. Even Barry and Dickerson, they're not gonna be overshadowed. At the end of the day, if they do drop like a Christian McCaffrey, he's probably gonna have similar speed, similar elusiveness. They made these cards very overpowered, so that alone should really keep them in line. None of these cards will be overshadowed. I think we'll be fine with an NFL 100 you don't have to sell, but their prices will come down a little bit because they are very, very expensive. So you have to imagine that some things will come down. So if they do drop more running backs like McCaffrey, let's say Dalvin, I say Barry and Dickerson come down to like 400K again, 600K. And then Larry out, they drop some good raw linemen. I, linemen are going to be hard because they're not going to drop linemen this good. They're not going to drop a whole set of linemen like this. Tony Gonzalez, another tight end that comes out that's similar to him, he might drop down to like 400K, 450K. I don't think they'll drop a ton. So you don't have to pre-sell these in fear of losing a ton of coins but i would recommend if you don't already if you already think you spent too much and you have a lot of coins invested in them i wouldn't really hold on to them for the time being like i said they won't come down much but they are a big investment to have even if they come down just a little bit now the harvest cards are the only cards that came up from yesterday while well, everything else seems to be around the same thing and the harvest cards the weird thing about them is that there's none on the block i wouldn't say that michael irving and nitro lane skyrocketed back up i'd say it's more of a it's like kind of a thing of no supply so the price is just naturally higher there's like low supply and there's literally what is this 5 10 15 there's 16 cards in the block right now in the whole world on the whole xbox one world there is 16 cards i i'd have to say that it's just early in the morning not many people are selling their harvest cards right now not many people are online i don't really know the servers are down i don't give you i don't have an exact reason but these cards are not that expensive i'm telling you guys these cards are going to take a massive hit in the next week or so Night Lane got kind of saved. Now, he got kind of saved because he actually did stack up to the NFL 100 uh, cornerbacks. Besides Deion Sanders, he was very similar to Rod Woodson. He was very similar to Willie uh, Willie Brown. He stacked up decently enough to where you didn't have to really sell your Night Lane to get those cards. Now, Michael Irvin, not going to be the same case. Well, Michael, well, Michael Irvin right now, when the NFL 100 wide receivers come out, just by name, because when it comes to when it comes to Night Lane cornerbacks, you're not always looking for name, right? You're looking for stats. You want solid stats and speed. Now, when it comes to wide receivers, you want big names, big height. They're going to get guys like Jerry Rice out there, like one of the biggest, probably the biggest wide receiver name of all time. They're going to probably get guys like Randy Moss out there. They're going to be some guys like that. I'm telling you, when they drop those guys, Michael Irvin's going to be overshadowed and his price will be killed because the first thing people are going to do when they see Michael Irvin in general, this is just an offensive like theory standpoint at this point. I'm telling you, all defensive players, you always just want stats, right? You want solid stats, good defense, whatever. When it comes to offense, you're looking for big names. You're looking for like Ferraris. You don't want like fast cars. You want the Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how everyone is on offense. So 
Running back was all fun and games until Barry Sanders and Eric Dickerson came out. Everyone dropped their pants. Then McCaffrey's gonna come out, and for all you guys who are like watching football this year, you're so crazy. You're gonna want him probably next. And same thing with quarterback. Whenever they drop Vic, everyone's always dropped their pants for that too. You guys get the point. Like it's always been like it doesn't matter what how bad his throwing stats. It doesn't matter. It's Michael Vic. It's Pat Mahomes. It's gonna be one of those things. So I'm telling you, Steve Young. I mean not Steve Young. Michael Irvin's gonna get overshadowed by the Randy Moss. We're probably gonna get soon, and the Jerry Rice probably gonna get soon and whatever other receivers we get soon. So we know that his price will come down quite a bit when that does happen. The only thing that will save him a little bit is that he's still a 94 overall. But he's very, very well-rounded, which is great. He's great on any team. But I do think that Rice will probably be same speed, better route running, better catching. And Randy Moss will be way... Randy Moss can have like a 95 speed at 6'4". He's going to be a glitch. So take that as you will, guys. That is about it. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you are new to the channel, come enter the 25 Days of Pudmas. All you gotta do is enter is like the video, comment down below your console and the secret word, and, and subscribe to the channel. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck, boys. See you guys in the next few videos. I will be announcing the winner from yesterday and one of the videos today, so make sure you check them all out and enter. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.